tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hi folks, when you do character animation, you have the choice between motion capturing and doing it manually. Doing it manually is very interesting because you learn how to build a rig. A rig is basically a skeleton for vertebrae, for a human for example, or a dinosaur. And uh, then you animate the hip and the legs, etc. It gives, uh, gives us freedom in all dimensions and uh, we have inspiration of how to move the the knee for example of a certain person uh, it goes why uh, further out to the right or to the left from person to person different so you have individual character animations with this the opposite is motion capturing uh, where you attach sensors to actors and actresses and uh, they perform certain things like jumps or walks or whatever and uh, the result is a huge amount of keyframes but with a very very precise motion. You have to clean up the keyframes hundreds of thousands often uh, and uh, still don't lose the detail of the animation. Anyway, in this tutorial I show you a, a, a very interesting development and uh, in the past motion capturing was very expensive. For facial recognition, for example, you needed um, sensors, lots of sensors uh, glued to the face and uh, then uh, the actor would speak and uh, it, uh, the sensors would send their signals and then you get, collect the motion capture data. But in this case, my smartphone is the device which captures the motion. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. We're only scratching the surface because I don't know much more about it anyway. I just wanna share this tiny bit of knowledge. Enjoy. We're not in Maya, as you can see, we're in Rococo Studio. And uh, we're in uh, February 2021. Technology has made a leap forward. Rococo Studio is a user interface which enables you to track motions. Um, it's a mocap app, basically. And since I don't have any fancy gloves or suits with contacts and sensors, etc., just my face, and my smartphone, in my case the uh, iPad, I can only do uh, facial recognition. But what what does only mean here is that's a really advanced forward. And when I just play back this file here, you see me talking into my iPad and the Rococo Studio app is recording my facial expressions and the mouth opening, etc. So um, I have to record the sound separately but you see that the eyes and the and the mouth etc they work quite nicely and uh, the re recognition is uh, quite good you can use this app for i think 30 days for free to just to try it out and then you have to get one of their plans as they call it but i'm not familiar with that anyway because i'm in day two of the trial period and i just wanted to show you how to get these things into maya if you want to know how to set this up with a, a pc or a mac which is in the same network as the iphone or ipad currently only ios devices are supported as long as you know that, uh, you, you're you fine with the Rococo video, which describes the um, procedure quite well. It's this video, Rococo Studio Tutorial, how to set up facial capture in studio. Uh, this is a screen shot or recording of the iPhone, in this case, of the guy who makes this demonstration. And this is the face he sets up in the Rococo app. Anyway, this is a very well and short video which explains the setup and I'm going to show you how this whole thing lands in Maya now. I exported it from Rococo as an FBX file and it comes with no texture basically. It arrives in green and I just textured it with a simple AI standard surface shader where the eyes are not separately textured anything like that. I'm not a UV texturing expert anyway but uh, in this case I would like to have at least a simple way to texture this face which is quite well depicted in the Rococo app but which arrives in Maya just as a single texture 
like this. The thing which you need to record separately is the sound, as far as I understand this. Uh, that's what I did. I uh, recorded the sound extra. These are the sound waves of the exact talk I did while talking into this app. And you have to load the sound into your timeline. This uh, needs you need to two steps here. One is the playback speed. It needs to be set to real time. If you set it to any of the other two options, uh, the sound won't be. Uh, you won't hear the sound. Real time needs to be the playback speed. You need to import that sound. And you go to audio and import audio. It needs to be a WAV file. MP3 is not supported, I think, because of licensing, licensing problems. Then it lands here and it certainly is out of tact. The sound starts somewhere and the audio is off sync with the video. And you have to adjust this. And uh, this is actually the third step you need to do. Audio, use the option box here and then you create an offset. In my case the offset is 338.5. I don't know if uh, this is a really precise value. I just tried it a little bit. Uh, but anyway, um, the recording of the sound started earlier at frame 0 or 1, as you might have guessed. This offset is crucial, absolutely crucial, because for lip syncing you need absolute uh, synchronized sound. Um, before I play back the sound and the video now, uh, I want to remind you that the spacebar doesn't work. Usually in video editing and audio editing applications, you use the spacebar to start and stop the sound. It doesn't work in Maya because the spacebar is used for other things, so you need to use these buttons here. Hi folks, I'm in the Rococo facial recognition app on my iPad. The iPad camera looks at my face and I can open the eyes wide or just close them or whatever so I have a little bit of facial recognition uh, uh, concerning the eyes and uh, the mouth. Even the nose, yeah, and the, the cheeks, yeah. I've paired the iPad to via the Wi-Fi network uh, with the app on my PC and I'm gonna try to export it as an FBX file and then import it into Maya. Let's see what how it goes. So quite nice and how does it land in Maya? Well when you click on the face actually you see for the face the face shape but interesting here is the blend shape and the blend shape is it's basically a face facial animation tool which has been in Maya since the version number one and which is heavily used here because you see lots of blend shapes here and for example the jaw left which is currently and we're at at the end of the animation Oops. let's go to the beginning of the animation uh, the jaw left is zero right now and I can just use the slider to slide it somewhere else and the jaw open same thing so uh, the blend shape is basically blending one shape into the into another one set of the facial skin muscles when I select this here in the attribute editor you get a red line here and that's because every tick in the timeline that's 24 per second has a keyframe. When we, for example, zoom in here, you see that basically every frame has a keyframe. This is interesting to see in the graph editor, which is here. I'll show you the way how to get there. Windows Animation Editors Graph Editor. And uh, this is the set of curves for all the blend shapes, for all these things here on the right hand side. For example, if the eyes look out right, this is the animation curve just for the eyes looking out right. When I play back the animation you see all these blend shape sliders at work. When I select a couple of these entries here and 
select them all here and delete them. Lots of key frames are being deleted now. You see that uh, some of the entries here in the blend shape don't have animation colors anymore and that means that so I've paired we lose the quite a bit iPad of the, via the facial capture network. data uh, with the app on my PC and I'm going to try the upper part of the face I think especially this part is more static now anyway I would like to sh show you something more about it but I cannot because I don't know anything more about it and this is complex enough so first of all go to rococo.com download the free app for the studio application uh, set up your iOS device in the same Wi-Fi network as your PC and sync the two things and then get the facial recognition, record it and export it as FBX and import it into Maya and then import the sound which you record it separately. And uh, oh, this sounds so complex and we're not really, we didn't get very far here. Have a nice day folks.